Hello, and in this next Drupal video, I'm just going to go over some real common terminology that you're going to know what it means before you start using Drupal. The first, and by the way, these are used by the general community, and um, um, the first is the name of a core module, and that's called Node. A node is basically a piece of content. Traditionally, a node is a um, thing in a network, and it's a thing in a network of content. Um, when you consider what Drupal is, for example, if we look at the URL of a piece of content, any piece of content that's um, submitted it has node and then a long number this is on the drupal.org site um, and that's because it's the name of the piece of content um, ev everything in Drupal is a node everything that's a main piece of content for example a blog post is a node but a comment is not a, a podcast episode is a node but a comment isn't and um, and it's kind of fun sometimes because drupal.org has got thousands of nodes so it's kind of fun just to um type in random numbers and see what you get because nodes are named sequentially um so one of my f favorite nodes is one Three two four four two. I go here quite often because I'm a FEMA. Um, but yeah, so that's what a node is. N next is a a block that that's just a box around a page. And then the next is a t a taxonomy term. Taxonomy, although there's a lot more t to it, and I'll do future videos on it. It's basically a way of categorizing content. Anyway, thanks for watching. In that video, all I really wanted to get across was what a node was. So if we go um, into our create content screen in, in Drupal, we'll create a page. I'll just call it test. And we paste in some text here. Um, what all we want to do is create some kind of, and then we save that content. And then you see the name is node slash one. You'll notice if we create some more content. on our website it's node slash it's node slash two so most things in Drupal are nodes anyway I j just wanted to explain what nodes were because it's a um, thing that new members of the Drupal family tend to struggle with. So I hope that's helped you and see you in the next Drupal video. Bye.